of what is the Ludington pumped storage plant. The simple answer, a hydroelectric plant that at one time was the largest of its kind in the world. Tonight, 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on the unique facility. That big berm that's hard to miss on the west side of US 31, just south of Ludington, is a man-made reservoir that's capable of holding up to 27 billion gallons of Lake Michigan. Drivers rush past the massive berm, many likely not knowing high above them. We refer to this as the reservoir. A body of water three times the size of Reeds Lake in East Grand Rapids. It covers about 840 acres of land mass. Each day the water here has the power to provide a electricity to a community three times the size of Kent County. In 1959, Consumers Energy and Detroit Edison began designing the hydroelectric plant. A decade later, work started. And we went commercial operation in 1973. It was the largest of its kind when it opened, winning national engineering awards. Now it's the fourth largest in the world. In real terms as a battery. Brian Zatlocal is operations manager. He says the facility works like this. When power costs are low, billions of gallons of Lake Michigan are pumped uphill. Into our reservoir and store it for when the power is a higher cost. When the water flows back downhill, it spins turbines, creating electricity. It's slightly different based on season, but the, the general is we'll generate during the day and pump at night. That electricity is sold to the regional transmission grid. All six of the facility's turbines are being replaced. It will be an $800 million investment that will also make the facility more more efficient. We looked at it as an opportunity to uh, add capacity uh, and more power. Hydropower sites are licensed by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. The license for this site expires at the end of June, but Consumers Energy and DTE have applied for a new license, one that's expected to be granted and will allow this site to operate for another 50 years. And well, the property is surrounded by fence and considered a secure facility, Consumers Energy invites the public to take a look from access points on Lakeshore Drive. There's an overlook that allows an opportunity to, to look down on the powerhouse proper. And then there's also a paved walkway up to the upper reservoir so that you can see the extents of the, the large upper reservoir. In Mason County, John Mills, 13 on your side.